Hey guys, so I wanted to show you the progress that I've made on the hats. So this was the original scarf. And then I found out, I like this because it has like the, I don't know, can you see it? It's kind of like a shawl scarf. And I don't have the ends done in yet, you can see that. But it turns out that what the husband was looking for was something a little bit warmer. And so I think that this will make something pretty as like a pretty thing for to go with a dress coat, if you can see it. Something to go with like a dress coat or to wear kind of like I wear my scarf if you're out in the snow because it's light enough that it shouldn't really um, cause a problem with flattening hair or anything. And I like to wear it like that. But... She needs something warmer. So I started on something else. They have the same yarn in them. The purple in this one, purple and red, what you see in this one is the little teeny tiny pieces of orange and purple that you would see in this one. And I used the yarn that Helios sent me that is the alpaca cotton blend. And that is the main thick, very warm yarn in this. So this is the front, this here, this here. So I'll put it on to show you. This one is completely finished. So I have not blocked it. The reason is, is if she wants to like open it up and make it come a little bit more forward on her face, she can block it in that shape. But. That's what it looks like. And the nice thing about it is that it doesn't smush your hair. It, it's, it's not so close on your face that you can't um, not end up with hat hair afterwards. And I make this about six inches longer than what they call for in the, in the pattern because I want you to be able to zip your coat up and have it extend down further onto your chest so that it keeps your neck nice and warm. If she wanted to make it a little smaller so that it would be even warmer, she could put it in a lingerie bag in her washer and wash it on a gentle cycle in the lingerie bag and it would make it felt so it would go like this and all the pores would close. But since I don't have her right in front of me to be able to try it, I'm not going to do that. But it's super soft because it has the alpaca in it, in it. So Helios, thank you so much for sending me that yarn. And husband out there that asked me to make you make this for his wife, please let me know what you think and if I can just send it. I was going to send both and that way there is kind of a, a choice and an option of do you want pretty and light and just decorative or do you want something that, I mean I still think this is pretty. Um, you can see that this is the only yarn that I used on this trim part, I just tripled it. So I did three strands so that it would be the same thickness as the rest of it, but that it would just add an accent. So I'm ready to send those if you would let me know. And also Helios, yours is started. And um, let's see if I can find it in here. So I'm doing exactly the same one as this one because you said that you like to have it connect underneath your chin. You like hats that connect under your chin. And so this is yours. It's the black um, alpaca cotton mix. And then because I wanted to add a personalized touch, I took this that I hand spun from a mix of Angora, Merino, alpaca, kid mohair. So this one I did spin myself and then I added it to the yarn that you sent me and it's super soft so if that if this pattern is kind of something that that looks like what you want it'll definitely be more masculine in this color if that looks good to you let me know and again thank you so much for all the yarn it's been really fun to play with so we will talk to you guys later